episode for you guys. Uh, for today's video, we're going to talk about another no-code tool, uh, but this time centered around game development. And um, as you, uh, for, for people that don't know, um, I, I love playing video games. Uh, but at the same time, I have this desire of creating my own video game uh, centered around, you know, Philippines, historical period peace, uh, obviously a little bit of fiction as well. So the game that I wanted to uh, really create when I was, uh, you know, many, many years ago is a, call, a game called uh, Bolo. So Bolo is a, a sword, like a long knife in Philippines. But, you know, it's going to be like a third-person uh, action-adventure game. Um, and then... You know, it's centered around pre-colonial period in Philippines and uh, based on historical events, uh, obviously enriched by fiction. So uh, the character will be, uh, his name is uh, Pancho uh, Garcia. So he's a combined persona of uh, boxing legends Pancho Villa and Seferino Garcia and Severino Garcia is commonly referred to as the inventor of what they called the bolo punch, which was, I think, uh, you know, uh, used by other uh, boxing legends as well from other countries. So the way the story will go is that uh, Pancho um, is a present day security guard. Uh, and then, you know, he, he has a lot of skills in terms of martial arts, like Filipino discipline, such as, uh, Kali, Arnis, uh, you know, Yao Yan and, uh, uh, you know, and in strange turn of events, he will be warped <laughs> in the pre-colonial, uh, era and, uh, together with his, you know, skills as well as, uh, you know, his uh, modern weapons or even the knowledge of creating weapons. You know, he'll he'll be able to fight back, uh, you know, the Spanish and then, you know, hopefully uh, try to uh, flip the history <laughs> of the of the archipelago. So, you know, uh, we'll we'll go ahead and uh, check the gaming platform, the gaming engine. It's called uh, Core, uh, which is powered by Unreal Engine. And hopefully, you know, it can, it can help me uh, fulfill this, uh, fulfill this uh, quick project. So this is, uh, this is Core, Core Engine. And um, this is what we're going to use to uh, try and create the basis of the game, Bolo. And, uh, you know, hopefully it leads me to anywhere. But uh, uh, full disclosure, I don't have any knowledge about coding. But I did watch a few, uh, like, basic or beginner tutorials. Um, of core, so I'll try to see if I can incorporate some of the the findings that I had. So you know, you can actually create the avatar, uh, which is this is already pre-made, uh, but you can you know obviously change that to your liking. But uh, I'm not going to touch that for now. So we're going to create um, a new world uh, and. Based on what I've seen, um, in order to uh, have a effective RPG, uh, we'll need to uh, select this framework, which is Dungeon Crawler, and then uh, create this game right here. And um, you're, you're going to have a, an existing template or a framework uh, that you can use. But uh, based on what I've seen, uh, we need to 
delete a few um, items here. So the map will be deleted, nav mesh will be deleted, as well as the frame your framework documentation. Now it's pretty blank, so we need to create uh, lighting, which is sky. So here we go to core content and then go to sky and then pick and choose an asset here. So maybe here, this one. Okay. Cool. So we have now the sky. And now we need to generate uh, a terrain. So, you know, the game is like prehistoric uh, Philippines. It's, you know, uh, located in the tropics. And uh, I'm, you know, imagining it's like Rocky Mountains. So um, I'll pick this one. And then they said we need to change the voxel size to 0.8. Not sure why, but uh, this is how it will look like, basically. So here, um, we're, we were able to generate the fast lands, and uh, you can actually you need to we need to create a spawn point so our character can you know uh spawn and make sure that uh, it's above uh you know the spawn point is above uh either the surface so to speak so here's our character. It's a default weapon. But, uh, you know, oh, obviously we need to create some grass and, you know, texture here. So we need to add a foliage. And... Uh, think uh, terrain and then go to foliage oh okay let's create none oh okay there you go and aside from uh, a foliage, we can also add uh, grass or something. Oh, okay. There you go. Grass and done. So you can, we can actually um, check the distance between so it looks more realistic. You can try to do five or something. Maybe three, maybe three, yeah. And add another foliage, which is tall grass. And then for tall grass, probably Create a let's do five. Nice. Now we'll add a few trees as well. So let's do the redwood medium. Oh, cool. Okay. And Let's, let's let's test our character. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. but, uh, probably let's try to change the distance between the trees to increase that to twenty. 
for our spaces in between. Yeah. Okay. And uh, try to see if we can add fog or something. Powder. Oops. Sorry, not that. Maybe the sky or something. So there's, you know, I think there's a lot of things that we can do here. Um, it's just that I'm, I'm not that uh, technical and, you know, I haven't really explored a lot on how, but uh, in terms of functionality, this is a good starting point, right? So, and, you know, uh, maybe I'll create some um, episodes and series of videos. Um, and, you know, if you can... Uh, also, you know, send, uh, write some comments how I can, you know, be able to <laughs> execute this much faster or much better uh, if, I'm, if I'm doing something wrong. Happy to hear your feedback. And, uh, you know, I'll probably uh, create another video soon uh, and see if there will be some developments that I've created already. And thank you so much. Um, I look forward in our next video. Have a great day.